Hey, this is Alan from Difference in Skills, and I'll be bringing you a deck profile of a uh, right chain seal from the client dimensional police. Something that Chan hasn't showed yet. Yay. Hey. Okay. So, this right chain with its level 3 version has a limit break effect of. Uh, so, counter blast 2, and it'll be able to take away 5,000 attack points from your uh, opponent's vanguard. So, basically. That is kind of, that. This is kind of like a Soul Savior Dragon, where you can actually activate this twice in the game. Because uh, instead of giving plus five thousand to the three units of your choice, you took away five thousand from opponents. So basically, all your units got an extra five k to deal with. So, well, your opponent has to deal with extra five k on every unit. So Soul Savior Dragon effect. Good stuff. And it's a ride chain where so you run four of these. So it has a ride chain where riding um, from the level from level one to level two, you can take away three k from your opponent's vanguard. Similarly, you can do that with the grade three when you ride from the grade two version. So very, you can be very aggressive with this deck because you're turning your opponent's vanguard into basically really scrubby attacks so basically almost any unit in your deck can poke them and make them drop a lot lot more shield than required so like with its limit break you can actually turn a draw trigger into basically a 10k beat stick <laughs> forcing them to drop uh, 10k uh, so 4 seals and I also run 3 lady justice which is the generic grade 3 uh, 12k beater when it well it becomes a 12k beater when it attacks the vanguard which is pretty uh, pretty good in this deck as it can as hitting higher numbers allow you to uh, make them draw you draw more shield in general and basically you can set up easier for columns like 18 and so on so 4 of the grade 2 edition of seal all right chain, you want to run four of everything to get max consistency out of it. Consistency, yep. Yeah. And then I run four Mika because Offre Mika is an excellent card in Dimensional Police, and you should always be running four of these in every Dimensional Police deck you build. Um, eh, uh, uh, back. Being serious, uh, actually, offering Mika is a horrible card to activate and use in this specific build for sure. Because, as I said earlier, you want to be able to activate Soul Savior Dragon's effect twice or well, Monster Seal. And actually, uh, just trolling around, this is uh, this is actually my proxies for 4 Twin Order, which is the 10k beat stick for this client, uh, which I don't have, so I'm using a harder version Mika to proxy it. Okay, moving on. I run three Die Ladies. Uh, this is a card basically when it hits. So when it hits something, uh, not sure if it's Vanguard specific, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So when the attack hits, you can choose another unit and give them an additional 3k. Which is that? Which is a very OP, very OP in this deck, because in some different kind of situation, it actually helps you hit magic numbers. Because saying, uh, for example, when you have something like this here, and we'll pretend this is some sort of booster, anything Vanguard here. I'm gonna show you since I can here. So you activate its limit break. And then you force them to 15, they don't card or whatever. You attack with this, boosted. So it's like uh, they need 15 to block the single attack. But if if they, so they might be like, oh, screw this, I don't want to let it guard because it's 50, I need to draw 15k shield, which I don't have. But at the same time, if they let this attack hit, uh, triggering a plus 3,000 to another unit, which is over here. Uh, turning it into a 15k, especially when your opponent is a 5k vanguard, 
they also have to drop 15k shield. So, a lot of different usage for this, but basically it helps you hit magic numbers when you really need it, or not simply need it, but like, it can help you reach some magic numbers out of nowhere. Uh, actually, a different alternative to this card I would consider is Monster uh, Gunlock. And basically this card uh, is when your opponent is uh, 8k or below, has 8k attack or below as a vanguard, it gains an additional 3k, making a 11k beat stick. So, so if this deck with uh, Seal's Limit Break effect, most of the time you'll be seeing uh, 8k or lower. In fact, it should be always because even as a cross ride, you become an 8k vanguard, so you can take advantage of that. So this effect, this condition is fairly easy to fulfill, but in the most part because uh, I don't want it because it's an AK Vanguard. So if you're forced to ride it, then there's a lot to deal with. Um, the other reason is that uh, let's say if you don't manage to win after two Soul Savior Dragon effects, if you don't win and they somehow stay alive, uh, as an AK unit it's not gonna do much damage especially against cross ride units so even though we're talking about 11k you need an 8k booster behind this which can be very hard to fulfill sometimes so die lady is i think a more solid choice just for a it's a safer choice in my opinion but this is a this is a good option as well i think uh, i probably actually might try it myself sometime so moving on to grade ones, I have one robot leg. Uh, basically, I attack this. So in the event that you ever ride this, it, you can actually because the effect its effect is uh you remove it from the soul and you add three k onto your vanguard. So in some random case, this would help you fix up your rolls for one turn, as well as it's a seven k. Booster, so pretty good unit to run over all. That's a nice tech. I run two Gory Makers, uh, which is the 10k booster for this clan. And I think um, it's the condition is actually really easy to fill. It's as long as you have four damage or above, you you fulfill the condition. Uh, slightly a nerf version of the Narukami version. Well, actually, this came out first, so. I guess the Narukami would be the improved version of this. Uh, I can actually consider running more of the robot legs. Just because uh, in the event that you have to ride this, uh, the 7k would be better because the starter is only a 4k booster, so you might not be able to hit anything with this. Ex and basically, you let your opponent utilize early guarding, which can. Um, which can kind of disrupt this deck as you kind of want to be as as aggressive as you want it, as you can in this deck because you can push out a lot of damage especially if you some if you manage to force an opponent at 4 damage before your limit break then when you actually do your limit break it's gonna eat up their cards extremely fast so the rest of the grade ones are not very surprising I have 4 of the grade 1 seal so just ride chain purposes, don't really self-explanatory here. Uh, four perfect guards. Some people might deem four is not necessary, but this is kind of just player preference in which I like to run four perfect guards for more, uh, most of my decks. It's only when I really don't have any slots for it in the wear chance that I would run three. But yeah, three for sure and four is more preferred. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. So, I uh, have four of the 8k boosters, and basically, not much of a surprise as uh, any unit that can hit high attack power is good in this in this build. As as long as you can hit the next magic number, you're forcing even more on your opponent, and being aggressive in this deck has high re really high rewards. 
And then moving on to triggers, which won't be very surprising either. I run four heals, just like most people do. I run four draws, just like most people do as well. I run eight crits. And this is pretty much the generic trigger lineup for most decks. Yep. Uh, and that's all for the Dimensional Holy CEO deck. Thanks.